some bigger proteins may not only uh, consist of single polypeptide chain they may contain two or more separate polypeptide chains and these polypeptide chains are also called as subunits these subunits may be uh, similar or identical or different the the special arrangement of these subunits is known as proteins quaternary structure so uh, in a, a protein molecule uh, there may be more than one polypeptide chain which are associated with each other and apparently they make a single protein molecule so the special arrangement of these subunits in that overall uh, molecule is called the quaternary structure a multi subunit protein is also referred to as a multimer because it contains many subunits and if a multimer uh, contains few subunits that is called an oligomer and a single subunit or a group of similar subunits is called a protomer as you can see in this uh, diagram this is the diagram of hemoglobin molecule which is a protein and it contains you can see four subunits one two three four so four subunits are present in this molecule but look at this the two subunits this and this they are identical and the other two subunits this one and this one they are identical so a hemoglobin molecule contains four subunits in which two alpha subunits are similar and two beta subunits are similar so in this way you can say hemoglobin is a tetramer it contains four subunits but some scientists say that if two or more subunits are identical then those identical subunits are regarded as single protomer so in this way you can say hemoglobin is a dimer so this is at its quaternary level of organization identical uh, subunits of multimeric proteins are generally arranged in a symmetric pattern they are not arranged uh, uh, roughly rather they have very regular symmetric patterns and uh, uh, mainly two uh, symmetries are present in the uh, proteins and these are rotational symmetry or helical symmetry there are uh, several forms of rotational uh, symmetry and the simplest rotational symmetry is the cyclic symmetry in the cyclic symmetry there is a single axis of rotation that means the oligomers yeah, or the protomers they rotate around a single axis either this is single axis and rotation is like this or this may be the rotational axis and the uh, protomers are arranged around this axis here you can see clearly in this picture you can see two protomers one is this and the other one is this and they have a single rotational axis around this rotational axis they can rotate so there is only single rotational axis this is called cyclic symmetry it may contain more than two protomers like 1 2 3 4 4 four may be present but again the rotational axis is only one so this type of symmetry is called cyclic symmetry a somewhat more complicated rotational symmetry is dihedral symmetry this is another type of rotational symmetry and in the dihedral symmetry a two fold rotational axis is present that means there is one axis rotational axis and uh, protomers are arranged uh, like this and in the same molecule there may be another rotational axis and molecules are arranged like this so this is called here uh, two rotational axis are present which are normally at right angle to each other 
and such symmetry is called dihedral symmetry. As you can see in this uh, diagram, for example, in this you can see one, two, three, four, four protomers are present, but they have more than one uh, rotational axis. One rotational axis is this, the other one is this. So this is for these two protomers and this rotational axis may be for these two protomers. So there are more than one uh, rotational axis. Normally two rotational axes are present. Similarly, in this uh, you can see the number of protomers is increasing. This symmetry is called D4, dihedral symmetry D4, in which again the four protomers, but again the rotational axis one is this, the other one is this. So for these protomers, there are at least two rotational axes present in the molecule. A more complex rotational symmetry include icosahedral symmetry. In this, an icosahedron is formed. Icosahedron is a regular 12 cornered polyhedron with 20 triangular faces. For example, in this icosahedron, you can uh, see 12 corners are present. These are corners of uh, an icosahedron. There are 12 such corners in this icosahedron and there are 20 such triangular faces. So like uh, one is this, 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 this. So such 20 faces are present. So all these are actually protomers which are arranged in this fashion and they make uh, an icosahedron. Such type of uh, symmetries are present uh, in the bacteriophages as you have seen in the head of a bacteriophage. The other uh, major type of symmetry besides rotational symmetry is uh, a helical symmetry. So in the helical symmetry, these uh, subunits, protein subunits or protomers, they are helically arranged. For example, in this figure you can see, this is uh, a single protomer and these protomers are attached together and they form a single helix segment. This is one helix segment. And in this, many such helix segments are arranged. So this helix is actually exhibiting the helical symmetry and this protein is at its quaternary level of organization. The example of such symmetry is also present in the capsids of different viruses like tobacco mosaic virus.